He's gonna, He's gonna remove, remove it without, without anesthesia, anesthesia or, narcosis. or narcosis. Today I will be reacting to the incredible Dr. Paul's video about a Doberman's teeth cleaning. I've made a video completely about teeth cleaning. I will show it in the cards above here and also how to brush your dog's teeth. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm veterinarian Neil de Schrijven and I help cat and dog owners avoid sudden sickness and high medical bills without the long waiting times and stress and so Dr. Google doesn't give you a heart attack. If you'd like to avoid medical or behavioral problems for your furry friend, be sure to click the subscription button below and hit that bell button so you get notified every time I release a new video. Cindy is bringing Dozer in. There is a swelling in his upper jaw. <laughs> Dr. Paul's accent always gets me <laughs> so amused because um, a lot of Dutch people, their accent is very obvious to me because I'm Flemish eh, from Belgium. It's right next to the Netherlands. And I can pick out the, the Dutch people when they're talking English right away. So they really have to try pretty hard to, <laughs> to keep this away from me. I do have to say, Nikki tutorials. She did an awesome job. I really didn't know until she said it in a video and that's when I heard it, so. As the day went on, just kept getting, it kept getting bigger and bigger. In a day's time, a swelling getting bigger and bigger and maybe being painful usually is an infection or inflammation or so an abscess. But if it's been going on for longer, especially in the mouth and the gums, it could be something like a tumor, uh, so a mass, benign or, or malignant. But in the mouth and the gums, malignant tumors are pretty often the case, especially because these problems uh, like this, I am guessing this Doberman is already pretty old because especially big dogs, it takes a long time before they have teeth problems. Small dogs have teeth problems very quickly. I've seen them at one and one and a half years already, uh, but usually it's around three years that we see problems already. To avoid these problems, please teach your dog to brush their teeth. Link is in the description below and in the cards or at the end of this video. Here. I'm hoping Dr. Paul can help him. Lugers. He's my best buddy. I don't do anything without him. Hi, sweetie. The swelling has gone up since I noticed it. Right in. Oh, there. Yeah. And I didn't want to let it go because. You know, no. He's, he's my this, baby. this probably would get bigger. Say, ah. Uh, <laughs> open. Those are. Wow. Well, see, there's, yeah, there's a bed too. Ah, uh, yeah, there is a big chunk of tartar on there. That needs to come off with the teeth cleaning. See that? Mm -hmm. There's a lot that. of tartar on it. It's easy to see there's a bad tooth. Sure. Possibly the other side as well. It's usually both sides quite similar when there are teeth problems. And it's usually the canines and the molars, the back teeth first. Infected so it doesn't have to come out. I am very relieved. I thought it was like an abscess. I'm gonna see if I can get some of the tartar off now. What? Tartar is a hardened mix of saliva, food, and bacteria. Now, patience. And must be removed to prevent tooth decay. Some dogs let me, some dogs don't. He's gonna remove it without anesthesia or narcosis. Okay, this is very dangerous, people. Don't ever let anyone, especially a groomer, but even a a well-seasoned, experienced veterinarian, don't let them do this without complete narcosis. It's dangerous. The dog can move or bite. If he moves, we are very close to the eye and to the facial nerves. We can, we can cause some serious damage here if the dog is not, is not behaving properly. Don't do this. Also with narcosis, because these, um, this tartar, it chips off and it can land in the airway and in the lungs causing a terrible pneumonia, like a life-threatening pneumonia. So what we do to prevent this is first of all, we put in a tube in the windpipe with a cuff, it's an inflatable cuff, like a balloon. And we also put a compress in the throat. This way we have the least possible chance of this complication. We also try to keep the health tilted down so the water flows downwards and not upwards to the lungs. So I really don't like this. Again, I'm not scared of big dogs. Yeah, it's coming off. Many dogs do not allow anybody to touch the teeth with something metal. Or anything. My goodness. Good boy. Yeah, he is. Oh 
Oh, by the way, another reason we need the tube with the balloon in the windpipe is because the instrument for descaling, the detartration uh, instrument, is very warm and there is constantly coming water out. You may have seen this with a tooth cleaning at your own dentist and you have the, the little suckling thing there. Well, we can do this for your dog, but it's not practical. We don't have enough hands on hand. Also, to prevent this water, it gets dirty from the, the tartar that we're cleaning off. This water cannot go into the lungs. That's why this precaution is taken as well. So just to be complete in my uh, explanation. Here he just stood there and let me pop the tartar off the teeth. Oh. We do do this right before. We start with the actual instrument because the instrument tip will get damaged if we try to take off hard tartar. We will take a, a tongue to chip it off. You will see this in my video about a detartration of a dog. Um, because otherwise, uh, otherwise we'll be scraping forever and we'll ruin our material. No, nothing. Like us at the dentist. Just sit there, open your mouth and don't it's move. A very sweet dog. He's a very tolerant dog. I'll see. He liked him. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. How did you get him that way? The bleeding is very normal that you might have noticed there because it is infected and inflamed. Also, Dobermans, they actually are very sweet in nature. They, they're thought of very aggressive dogs because people used to train them this way. Also, uh, no longer legally allowed, the cutting of the ears and uh, of the tail shortening of the tail, it can cause fear and aggression and that's what made the dogs so uh, so terrifying and they made them look more terrifying as well. They're actually very sweet but if they are not raised well they can be very dangerous because they have a very very strong bite. What Dozer is getting now is an anti-inflammatory oh, painkiller like and antibiotics to keep the infection under control. <sighs> So antibiotics uh, used to be often used, but we are very much made to use at least as possible. If it's not necessary, we cannot use it because also uh, in around 13 September, there was actually a decision in our parliament that would make sure that we veterinarians weren't allowed to use antibiotics anymore because we do see a cross resistance uh, of bacteria from the human drugs, uh, human drugs and our drugs because essentially they are the same, but they're tailored to dogs and cats. Luckily, they saw our value and we could keep our antibiotics. But here, I don't think antibiotics would have been very necessary unless there was actually an abscess, but I couldn't see this very well in the images. This is also not very well seen without a complete teeth cleaning. So I really think he should not have done this on the spot. This is trying yeah, to help your the owner anyway, but you're helping by not helping. It's dangerous to do it this way. Just put him on some painkiller, uh, maybe, unless you can can do it the, after a few days already. But just give him the teeth cleaning right away. Don't do this. This is not helpful. Then uh, he feels better. Maybe we should do a teeth cleaning. Maybe. You don't know how big a compliment I want to give you. Because many of these are Dr. just... Dr. Paul, I'm happy dogs. you're suggesting it, he but don't say maybe. Is. Definitely. He's like my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> Cindy has a very well-behaved dog, and sometimes I wish all dogs were oh, like definitely. this. Oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah. When he feels better, swelling is gone, call us, we'll do it then. Ah, good. Go home, get better and then come back and get his teeth cleaned like he should have been doing it right along. Yes. <laughs> so I don't know how old this dog is. A dog should go to the veterinarian once a year. If they're older, like the senior age, uh, big dogs, it's around seven to eight years, and smaller dogs, around 10. Please come every six months. And at least the teeth should be checked uh, all of it, head to tail, should be checked, but the teeth should be checked. So make sure your vet tells you something about the teeth. This teeth cleaning should have been done way sooner. Uh, if not, at, it should have been seen at the annual consultation that it was starting to get there. So the owner should have been advised to start brushing the teeth of their dog. So a lot of misery, pain and money could have been saved 
and narcosis. We, we want to avoid a narcosis if it's not necessary. If there was an annual consultation and if there were, would have been a good advice. I don't know how old this video is, but it, it looks pretty dated um, to me. Anyways, if this video was helpful for you, if you have any more questions, drop it in the comments below. Let's keep your furry friends happy and healthy together, and I will see you in the next video.